There's a reason that half of his cabinet is not supporting him. And I think that when you look at these comments from his own former chief of staff, John Kelly, look, this is someone who is handpicked to be his chief of staff recommended by Senator Tom Cotton. He's a retired, decorated general and a gold star father. I think everyone at this table would agree that he's a good and honorable man. But he saw firsthand, up close and personal, what kind of leader that Donald Trump was. And then he obviously has frustration. And I could absolutely see him going out. You know what? It would be great to have German generals that actually do what we asked them to do, knowing that's a third, uh, maybe not fully, un uh, fully being cognizant of the third rail of German generals who were Nazis and whatever. Trump may have just been letting off steam about the loyalty he wanted from his generals compared to what he thought about Hitler's generals. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. If there was an award for verbal gymnastics, he would be a gold medalist. I mean, he, he frequently uh, said to senior staff, uh, why don't my generals support me the way that Hitler's generals su supported him? Uh, and of course, uh, Hitler's generals, for the most part, did not support him. They tried to assassinate him uh, se several times. But uh, just the, the fact that the president would think of himself, the fact that President Trump would think of himself uh, in the same sentence as Hitler is a terrifying thing. The, the, the man quotes Hitler. I mean, your phrases like poisoning the blood of the country and, and enemies of the people. Those are things said by Hitler and, and Stalin uh, as well. And it's not as if he's accidentally quoting them. When it's brought to his attention, sir, you, you just quoted Hitler. <laughs> you just quoted Stalin or Lenin. He doesn't mind. He says it again. Stunning interview General Kelly gave to the New York Times. He confirmed the reports that we have been hearing for years about what he has said about Trump during the time he worked for Trump. He was the longest serving chief of staff for Trump. It was only a year and a half. Trump went through people quickly because of things like this. Now, General Kelly said that it is true that Trump called people who died in service of this country losers, that he disparaged disabled veterans, that he spoke admirably about Hitler. It's stunning the things that Kelly said that Trump did. One of the things I find really interesting is Kelly said that he believes that Trump will rule as a dictator. He's very scared about the rhetoric that Trump is talking about, about using the military against Americans because he believes Trump will do it. He said that Trump didn't understand history, that he had to explain history to him, and that Trump cared more about personal loyalty than the Constitution. This is a decorated soldier and Marine who served in battle. They are not, quote unquote, woke liberals. They are people who have never in the past even talked about politics because they believe that the military should be above politics. But the reason they're speaking up is because they have seen that in Donald Trump's mind, the military does not exist to serve the Constitution or the American people. He doesn't see being commander in chief as a solemn, sacred responsibility, just like everything else. He thinks the military exists to do his bidding, to serve his interests. We're not that surprised about that because we saw what happened in 2020 when he lost. He cared more about being labeled a loser than about the country, the democracy, the constitution, hence the big lie, hence the insurrection, hence saying, so what? Despite the fact that his supporters were trying to kill his then vice president. So John Kelly says that yes, he believes Trump is a fascist. And what he does in his interview is he actually reads the definition of fascism. So because that word is used so much, it almost seems to become like just another word. Because he read the definition, I'm going to read the definition he read so we can all be really clear about what he's saying about Trump when he uses that word. He says, quote, well, looking at the definition of fascism, it is a far right, authoritarian, ultra nationalist political ideology and movement characterized by a dictatorial leader, centralized autocracy, militarism, 
forcible suppression of opposition, belief in a natural social hierarchy. Pretty dangerous things for a democracy, for the president of a democracy. And he's saying that he thinks Trump fits that definition, that really scary definition of what fascism is, what a fascist is. You've quoted General Milley calling Donald Trump a, a fascist. You yourself have not used that word to describe him. Let me ask you tonight, do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And we hear it. We hear it with him wanting to deport millions. We hear it for them wanting to take away freedoms of people's right to choose. We hear it with him talking about using the military against the enemy within. We hear and see them wanting to use control and not caring about our democracy for it by saying that if you vote for me this one time, you never have to vote for me again. With Project 2025 dismantling our laws and putting in place these kind of authoritarian um, policies, and so General Kelly, who knows him best, who worked under him as his chief of staff, who heard him time and time again, heard what his policies were. You know, we can say that all of us hear him on the stump speech and hear him on the rally. And a lot of people try to defend him, right? A lot of his um, spokespeople try to defend him and say that, oh, he doesn't really mean what he's saying. Well, General Kelly is saying behind closed doors, he's saying this. He's saying even worse stuff, and he is saying it in a way that I believe it. And I can't imagine a more persuasive thing than somebody's own chief of staff saying that. And, um, you know, what does Trump say in his response in his social media post? He says how, you know, he's weak. Now he's using the term weak. This man who has served his life for our country in a military is is weak. So it's laughable. It's laughable coming from somebody who didn't, you know, dodge the draft with his bone stirs. It's laughable from somebody who has never put our country first, who has never been in service of our country. He's been in service of our, himself. And then his spokesperson said that General Kelly was, quote, be clowned. I've literally never heard um, um, an insult like that. It's literally B-E and then clowned altogether. Seems to me like a brand new insult that they are trotting out because how can you insult this general who's been in service of the country and is saying these things that Trump said that are completely indefensible and you can't defend them. And so instead you're coming up with some random new insult and you know, I'd like to say that we don't care, that we don't care as much as uh, Melania didn't care, you know, as she said by her jacket. There's a huge amount of American voters who don't care what you're going to call General Kelly. We trust General Kelly and we trust what he says about Trump, not just because he's a general, but because it matches. It matches what Trump says in those rallies. It matches when he says that immigrants that come into this country have bad genetics. That sounds authoritarian. That sounds like Hitler. That sounds fascist. So what he's saying in front of us and what he's saying behind us, it matches. And that's why, you know, you cannot insult him in a way that makes it stick. Trump can say weak and it, and it doesn't make sense. And his, his spokesperson can use even a more disingenuous insult and it doesn't make sense. You know, it strikes me what's interesting about the moment we're in right now is that we in the media are treating Vice President Harris like we treat a normal politician and we're critiquing her answers and we're talking about, well, she could, could have said this differently, she could have said that differently. Meanwhile, the Republican nominee literally is talking about Mm -hmm. Liberals being the enemy within, talking about using the pen, using the military to go after these people. His defenders say, oh, no, he's talking about uh, going after illegal immigrants or he's going after you know, mobs in the street. And Trump will say, no, no, no. I mean, going after the Pelosi's, <laughs> going after Adam Schiff, going after Democrats. Um, and these campaigns are in two u different universes. Yep. The reason why Trump is so dangerous is because we can all hear it. And, and then hear somebody saying that 
working alongside of him, he might have been even worse. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.